We're going to begin a lesson on drawing a still life. I set the still life up in the classroom. There are three challenging parts about drawing a still life that you will face. The first challenge is how are you going to place the objects on the paper? This is called composition in art. Your second challenge will be trying to draw the objects so that they look realistic. And your final challenge will be shading your drawing in order to make it look three-dimensional. Um, that's using value to create form. In this tutorial, I will only be addressing where to place the still life objects on your paper. I recommend, though, that you go back and you look again at the tutorial that I created on the rule of thirds and also the tutorial on positive and negative space in art. Those two tutorials will help you. One of the things that artists do in order to help them figure out what to draw and what not to draw when they look at a still life or a landscape is they use what's called a viewfinder. The viewfinder is just a simple device that allows the artist to isolate or crop off the scene within the rectangular area. You can adjust a viewfinder to go back and forth, left and right, up and down, um, looking for the most dramatic and the most engaging composition. Some artists just simply use their hands, like I am here in this photo, or they have um, viewfinders that are made out of paper. However, these are quite old-fashioned now because nowadays you can use your mobile devices as a viewfinder. When you go into the classroom and you look at where you want to draw the still life, simply get out your mobile device and look through the lens. There's a viewfinder. Move your phone around until you find a composition that's pleasing and then snap a picture. Notice how I use the rule of thirds that's available inside your mobile device. I am adjusting the photograph and trying to figure out what composition I like the best by moving it around using the rule of thirds. This is excellent and a wonderful way to come up with the composition. You can then take the picture that you just took to your seat and work independently and begin drawing. Let's now look at some student drawings that have already began yesterday, drawing the still life that I set up in the classroom. These aren't finished drawings, but as you can see, they have a great start. When you come into the room tomorrow, look at the still life, take a photo with your mobile device, go to your seat, and begin drawing. Have fun, guys.